the difficulty settings, let's say we're going over here, are, um, you have Pioneer, wait, no, is it, you have Settler, Pioneer, Veteran, and Viceroy. Those are your basics. Viceroy, I would compare to, like, Brutal in, in StarCraft 2, which is, you've got all the difficulty stuff, but it doesn't add anything on top. It is just kind of your baseline. I think the game is mostly, for most people, supposed to be played around Viceroy. Um, at least through much of it. Because, like, it's pretty easy to find a way out most of the time. Yes, you get... But past that, you start getting into the prestiges. Which add more and more on top, each one. Uh, which are required for the higher seal difficulties, but yeah. Mm. 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 Got a long way to go. It's about the journey. Okay. No longer are we on a timer. That's the key point. This is, uh, Silburn. Silburn has had a, a lot of settlements here. Silburn. Pick, uh... Pick a number between 1 and 26. Actually, okay, pick a number between 1 and 8. No, you know what? Just pick, pick a relatively low number. No, 26 is fine. But for four. Silburn County. Did I look up synonyms for city? No. There's a different... Silburn County. Sounds like a real place. Alright. When Silburn came on in and uh, chopped down all the trees and set up his copper mines, everybody was happy, but then the copper mines ran out. And now... All, all that's left is the crying. I mean... <clears throat> mm, thank you, Ron Empire. By the way, guys... Wait, I've never used... I keep forgetting to use this command. Thank you for giving it out. Of, I know you didn't come here for this. But I want to use this opportunity. There you go. I don't know how that works. But there you go. Uh, the first place, guys. Now, the Serral of Against the Storm. If you would. What would be your diff what difficulty would you recommend? I would recommend Viceroy. Viceroy gives you the most reliable difficulty, especially once you get past like level five or six. Um And, like, for example, so here are the rewards for this event thing, which I'm probably going to be doing. Um, you do Prestige 5, for example. You don't really get that many more than Vice Rail. Like, you get three more of each special thing and then seven more food for a significant increase in difficulty. The key is you get more seal fragments as well. And on higher level seals you are required to do um, higher difficulties, so that's not really a choice. But for just getting the upgrades, Vice Ray's fine. We might start to honestly, I think the one if you want to actually practice is Prestige 3, which is when it, the Blight Rot starts appearing, which is a mechanic you're going to need for the rest of the Prestiges. And is probably good to get in the habit of, but... Moving on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Scarlet Orchard has... It's Scarlet Orchard and Royal Woodlands, easy peasy. Because you're gonna get enough wood. Beavers or no. And in fact, I'm not a big beaver fan. I, I'm downgrading beavers from A to B tier. Beaver tier. Because it's so hard to get rep from beavers. Um, 
because they're just kind of like all the stuff they need is kind of complicated. And cutting down trees is not a major factor in anything usually. So boxes X uh, X F S. Okay, I don't know where I'm going with that. S tier is fuck. You know what? I'm I'm gonna do some tier lists here to start. Everybody loves tier lists. Just absolutely um, arbitrary things to argue over. So. Here we are. Just very generally. Now, the the prevailing point on all this is it depends. Okay? So, for example, um, foxes and lizards work well together, but on their own are not as great. Like foxes and lizards, foxes and humans... But beavers and foxes, even though foxes are S tier, they share almost none of the same uh, needs and, and stuff like that. So, beavers, B tier. We're probably not going to need all the extra. We're going to delete it. Five species only? Oh, there's a lot more to choose from. The species are probably the least... Well, they affect everything. Oh, oh, okay. In case you're wondering if there's a lack of options to choose from, let's do a cornerstone tier list, guys. Here we go. I don't know all the icons of them well enough, so I'm not going to be able to do that. So refer to this tier list because we're going to have to make a new one for each speed. And then that you have the uh, blueprints as well. Anyways, boxes. There. That is my tier list. Done. Humans, harpies, and lizards all have varied places. They can be amazing. They can be mediocre. Let's see. But here, we're going in the Scarlet Orchard. Which means we're going to have... There, there's plenty of farms. There's no humies here. I'm always going to pick the extra villies if I can. Um, from the embarkation goods. Three extra villies. All right. I find myself running out of villies. That's, that's the most limited resource is labor. Um, don't, don't read into that too much. I'm very tempted to go with the beavers and the foxes here, even though you can just get just having like four or five of them, I find to be good. All right. Just enough for a woodcutter camp, and maybe a lumber mill or something. But right, past that, yeah. I'm gonna go with that. Silburn County. Oh, wait, we got to We should probably. Um, hmm. I now have all three building materials in the embarkation goods. Do you find a sweet spot? I'd say 90% of my most successful games are between 35 and 50. Probably in the in the 40s. And that's about where you get in year 5 or 6 or so. And it's at that point, I might, like, if I get there pretty quick, I might consider not taking newcomers, depending on the situation. But usually between, like, 40 and 50 is where I end up. It, it could be on either side, but for, for this difficulty, at least. All right, we're going to take the extra planks... Um, okay, just take the farms. Just take the farms. How much food? A bunch of extra food, too. Yeah, we're just gonna take the farm. Guarantee a farm. Wait. Oh, I don't have plantation. So, whatever. Okay. Grain. It's a, it's a labor-intensive process, but agriculture is a pretty OP for a reason. So. And that is because civilization is founded upon it. Including here. Off we go. Restless spirits. I don't know what that means. And speaking of farmland... Wait. Oh, it's the creepy one. <gasps> I forgot about that part. 
you can't tell. Two resin woodcutters cut down a tree. You can already see the fertile soil there. Ooh. Number of sacrifice tags. Resources you sacrifice. So it's it's not burning normally, it's sacrifice. Just important to note. I always get that mixed up. So <laughs> these kind of cancel each other out a little bit. Uh resources that one's rough. You gotta be careful about that one. Uh acid rain. Resources producing building materials do fifty percent less. And the coat payment. Bleeding trees is uh, drizzle. You get two resin for every tree you cut down. I got a lizard. So, success. If I get a ranch, I win the game. No problem. Well, I'm going to win the game. All right. There's a clearance geyser here. It is the starting ability of the foxes. We obviously... I could try to get a farm started, but I don't have humans, so I'm not going to bother with it until next year. Gonna look at the first blueprint. Dumber mill. <sighs> get workshop, I knock everything out. Fuck. All right. So workshop is just a better workstation. I a lot of the time I think it's kind of bait, but getting it this early can stabilize everything. So we're taking the workshop. Ranch, that's no question about that. So ranch makes meat out of grain. I have a farm. Now we just need. You can feed the, whatever those things are the narwhal-looking seals that we're eating. Um, and then, ideally, we have some way to uh, eat that food. Eat that food. Okay. You know, I rarely would take a service building this early, but I think the clan hall. Yeah, the clan hall, it has ancient ways. Apparently, back in the day, they didn't have fucking agriculture. So, they were really good at picking berries and stuff. Which I think is the implication here, because all camps, all gathering camps produce twice as fast. So, or plus 100%. So, not necessarily twice as fast. It is additive. Because there are other things that increase gathering speed as well. Twice as fast would have different implications, I think. That's, of course, if I have enough villies to staff it there, but... All right, so... The, uh... Food will be handled by the ranch. Building materials by the workshop. Only thing we gotta be careful of... Wait, wait, wait. Um... Yeah. Is there anything to be careful of? Oh, yeah, the level three. Looking good. We've already got a trajectory. All I need are jerky and skewers and pickled goods. Any of the above. Farming on year two. And it's probably not going to be very trade-oriented. I'm probably just going to buy building materials from the traders. So I've got hotkeys for all the buildings, of course. Like F1 for paths. F2 for woodcutter camp. F3 is shelter. F4 for what? High APM. Gaming. I have enough villies to go for three woodcutter camps as well. I think here. Just gonna clear out this space. And... Lay everything down. And I'm going to want... So that way, once we start, we're going. They should build them mostly in the... Well, I can always prioritize the woodcutter camps. That was a bit of a mistake. So that way they build them in the order. For the most part, that I... Uh, if they have the materials, usually they'll build them in the order that you you created them. Like, you laid down the uh, blueprint for it. 
So we're gonna have plant fiber. LC is chilling for one month. And uh, I don't know what we're gonna have for other materials. Thank you, Elsie. How do you time your expansions? Uh, pretty much always try to open up a dangerous glade in year two, and ideally in year three. And then if you need something specific, like a uh, order or something, just work in from there. Or if you know for sure. All of those are incredible. Every single one of these is amazing. Uh, it's very hard to choose here. Meat could scale out of control, but pickled goods and the skewers, like meat is the one that is most useful early, because I could just lay down the ranch and start, you know, churning it out. Meat is the one that reduces the labor cost. The rest reduce the material cost of certain things. I guess moldy grain seeds also kind of does that, but... So, meat it is. Though, we're not doing that quite yet. You have ranches. Oh yeah, it was gonna come around to it. It was just, I was working through it. I'm not opening those orders till year two when I can potentially finish some time to orders. Mm -hmm. We're getting all the shelters and a park so that way we can fulfill the hearth level one and get an encampment, which is plus two to global resolve, which especially on prestigious is kind of necessary for the first storm. Allows me to keep a couple extra woodcutters, probably. And you can move the uh, parks and such wherever, so you don't have to worry about them. Um, like building them where they're going to go, necessarily. Mm -hmm. I'm going to. Uh, Put one in there, make sure we have the camps. Same thing with the camps, but no reason to be too detailed about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put a warehouse right here. You might be like, well, isn't there a warehouse there? Every second spent not gathering is a second wasted. Also... Thank you, fluffy, harmless kitten, for the raid. Hopefully you had a harmless and, and productive stream. So, the one issue here is I have no access to brick-making materials. We're gonna put these as the options. We're gonna pull a couple of the lizards. So, the bricks, like, the clay could be a secondary material from harvesting plant fiber here. Not ideal, but... No, oh, that's... Wait. Oh! Blades are all the same size, and I don't know if they're dangerous or not. I forgot that's the modifier on this one. Mm -hmm. Quite troublesome. Storm's coming. I cannot handle two. Arguably, I can't handle one on this. 
Put a lizard in the hearth, though. That'll bump it a bit. And we're gonna pull the non-beavers here. Eh, fine. Leaves us with two builders. Can get the field kitchen as well, which only costs planks. Same with the rain collect. Well, the rain collector also costs parts, but whatever. And I'm gonna look at the orders now. Lizard resolve. This one, five parts, six tools, but we're looking at labor here on this difficulty. I'd probably take the tools on prestigious. Was there copper in the trees? There is not, so I'm not going to be able to easily just get it. So, trade goods, but it'll give me wildfire and villies. And, ooh, plus one to planks. But I would have to send in, like, 50 planks worth of packs of building materials. Not worth it! I really shy away from the orders that require me to give them some of my stuff. Okay, I'm pretty stingy like that. get some biscuits all right lumber techs so a pretty nice one yeah we're not gonna be doing but we're not yeah lumber techs that's easy enough pick not incredible but definitely not terrible hmm yeah take foxes and the beaver all right and first objective we're gonna go through there. It's only a clearance geyser, which is probably the least valuable, but it is a geyser, so that's something. I'm, uh, I'm not gonna delete it. I have the parts. I do that too much. So there's no reason to delete it right now. Hello, Hello Zorg. He has third. So he has building capacity. Traders arrive quicker, plus two to pottery, and food production speed. I'd consider all but the pottery one, potentially, but first... And I also have this. Wait, is that the order that gives ten? No. But it does give tools if I really want to sell them. Workshop. Just whatever you could do. Open that up! before the trader leaves so I can know what I'm dealing with. Hurry up, guys. Being a bit troublesome there. Oh my god. It's actually gonna be... Okay. A lot of farmland. And... Let's see. Purging fire and coats. He has the... I need the pack of provisions. I get 30 amber if I get it done. That's the most realistic one. I can buy the pottery from him. Get my order done. How much is it over here? It's 30. We're gonna make sure... Okay, won't accidentally grab it there. 30. Can I afford that with just the resin from felled trees? Okay. What? Okay. And then... Might as well... I'm gonna need 7 amber in total, so we're just gonna put that on the board. To finish that quest. I'm not. I'm just gonna sell off my tools. Now, on higher difficulties, you almost certainly wouldn't want to do that. That's not a good idea. But in this case, I'm just gonna use it to kind of springboard. 
get that done. We get a blueprint so I can know what we're dealing with now. A kiln. Wait, let's see. Hold the B key. Resources. We've got... Oh my god, the massive vegetables. But the kiln... Oh, these are hard choices. So, the key to... They can go into, uh, let's see, they turn into meat, they turn into leather, they turn into porous, they turn into pickled goods. The kiln does not give me anything I don't, like, I don't need the, the coal. The plantation, I already have a farm. Trapper's camp, there's no resources there. Kind of hurts because I don't have humans, because they get a bonus, but I think... A guaranteed source of that many resources is worth it. God, I'm getting such great rolls. I don't need these. They're actually too good right now. And I'm going to uncheck these at the farm now, so that way we're just doing grain. Anyways, where were we on this? I need to build the packs of provisions. Which is going to be the diceiest part. Pack of provisions. All this. We're going to need... What? I'm going to put 24 as the count. We have not too long to do that, but now do I want to... It's 13 amber, but I, I just don't have it. I know. I, I don't want to trade anymore yet. Mm-hmm. There we are. Gonna just hide this back here, pretend it's not a problem. Let's see about the, uh... Can't do anything about that yet, but... Lizard houses give coal a minute. Can I build six lizard houses? Or ten foxes gives me a druid hut. Coal per minute would be incredible. But the question is... Can I get that many bricks for the lizard houses in time? Because they are... What did it say? Six of them? It can be done. And then we'll get the lizards to live in those houses. Conveniently. Okay, well... That one's not happening. Wait, it might happen this... Ah! Why are these so good? What the fuck? These are- this is the uh, easiest. I'm just upset because it's not- While this would be good, it's not gonna- I can't do all these at the same time. And I'm not sending my shit just for a plank and barrel bun- no. Just do the trade route one. That one doesn't require me to send in any more of my resources. One. There's not that much space here. Oh wait, we can move this now. They still, like, if you hard wall things off, usually they'll walk all the way around, which is not ideal most of the time. That's what I've noticed. Like, they'll, they'll kind of go in between buildings, but if there's a clear kind of wall off, uh, they will not reliably. So. We can move these. Rarely am I so cramped, but we need six of them. So that's one. Let's put this in the corner. Two three, four, five, all right, six. We'll just get it done, and eventually we'll clear out enough space to move more.
Mm -hmm. Is there any downside to working this besides the impatience? I don't believe so. So, because there are so many materials required there as well, I am going to want... Well, one, I'm just going to put a warehouse right next to this event. Okay, you're out of options. Maybe build another one later. Oh yeah, that means I, I just freed up a bunch of space. You know what? It costs five wood to move each of these, but... If I have to call another trader to get bricks, I will. And that may very wait. No, I have the bricks. Just barely. I did the math. All right, I did it before. We're gonna favor the lizards here so we can finish both those at once. Am I gonna have the bricks for the warehouse? Anyways, let's get this started. I'm just gonna press that button so they start dragging stuff out of the warehouses. Cause it's gonna take a little bit for them to get over there. And I do not, there is a timer. It's not the end of the world if I get one impatience point and some corruption, but... How, what is my meat bonus? Wait, I've only gotten six meats. Disappointed! Get this done, guys. We're carrying all this over. You see the foxes carrying all that stuff to the other event? Kind of a pain. Okay. We're gonna make, need to make sure to... Doesn't really matter here. The order. So, sometimes you don't want to turn in orders because that will lower impatience, which will raise hostility. But here, I just want more workers. <sighs> Bakery. Also does pottery, though. So. Yeah. Bakery. Though I need... Gonna be Druid's Hut? I guess so. We can turn some of the extra meat into that there. Once I get there. Now I have way too many builders. Do we have enough containers? We can start on this. Only one for now. We're gonna replace the foxes in other stuff so we can work on the rain collector. I don't have any materials for this. I'm gonna want another hearth here. It's just we're kind of stretched. We're not to stretch that thin though. I just need more bricks. That's the issue. With no bricks, I'm not gonna be able to... Hmm. Yeah, I can't do anything more. I, uh, you know what? Call the trader. I can't get anything. I can't build another hearth. Nothing. It's business time. He don't got bricks. Or any brick-based materials. He does have training gear, so I can open up the, uh... Is there, are there any bricks in the cache? No, just some food. It's only eight to open. Value of goods sold is still one of my requirements here, so... I guess we can get some of the fabric. 
that is annoying. Now the RG turns. I shouldn't need that many parts. I should be fine. There's a stamping mill. Or just plus three to pickle goods. Everyone needs pickle goods. I'm gonna get 16 amber off that. We're gonna go for it. I actually I only need 13, technically. Inconvenient. Here, have two coats. Let's go. Now I just need the trade routes. It says it doesn't matter how good the trade routes are, it just says trade routes. So I could delete some of my fancy lizard houses and get the bricks from there. And I think I need to do that. Sorry, like I load them in saying like, here, get your very own specialized lizard house. Well, never mind. Is there gonna be enough space? Oof. I actually don't quite have the... If I cut through up here, maybe. Move that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to delete. Wait, maybe as a reward for this? No, that's just amber. Break this open for the food. Fine. Also, stop. We should not be married. It should be 12. 12 total. I don't- I do actually have the ability to get more of this. I could get some clay out of the mine. That's not an ideal scenario, but like... Wait, what are we at? Three? Oh, that's far too much. Two should be fine. There's also some clay from here as well, but we're just trying to carve out this space so I can build a hearth once we get everything done. Hmm, fine. Once again, we're going for quantity over quality. Hmm, any buildings? Oh yeah, Druid's Hut. need to that's why the warehouse is here for all these great events let's see <laughs> it really wants me 10 jerky for pie or 10 for pickled goods Pickle, like, jerky goes into skewers, but skewers are overall... I'm not getting pie for quite a while, but I am actually making pickle oh, goods right now. Thank you, Mysterious Goo. Is that all? Which is certainly Mysterious a name. Mysterious Goo is chilling for 12 months. Tie for the contents. Oh, look, they bring bricks, you dicks. Can't believe they bring bricks. That's so annoying. I'm upset that that... that I wanted those. 
That should be enough space here for a hearth. All right. That'll do. For now. Surprisingly cramped. We have the meats for the oil. Nobody here is big on the uh, druid's hut, but... More meat. And worker's gone. Is that even covering all the farms? You know, they. Pr oh, wait, no. Only grain. Only grain. Okay. Got him. I don't have the planks yet for the clearance geyser. We're making more pickled goods here. Didn't I get... I got a bakery, I believe, yeah. Priority... is pie. I think pie is easier to do most of the time. Oh, you can make meat pie. Whereas... biscuits are gonna be a pain. Lizard in the hearth. Hey. I don't know where I'm getting all this coal from. I assume it's great events. Wizard houses give wait what? No. Oh no the 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 order. The order, not the houses. How quickly we forget. Ooh. I've already got the clan hall, which I should be building soon. I am a big fan of the guild house. We're gonna go for the guild house. That's my end game choice of just being rich. It's most people's end game choice, to be honest. I think. This, well, could it be a danger? It probably is, but we're still going to open it up here. That's not necessarily a bad thing. We're going to crank the ranch. Might as well. We can put this together once I get the pipes. Does it really matter which direction? I don't think so. Automatically relay. Thanks. This is all done. Maverick 29 is chilling for 69 months. First. Nice. Thank you. Traders arrive quicker. Rainwater. Rebuild. You know what? Let's uh, open this up first. There's the jerky. Wait, which one did I pick? I picked Zorgs, right? Yeah. So now we got jerky, which goes into skewers or the tea house for tea import. That's just for foxes, though. Supplier is flour. I don't have flour, do I? Supplier also has water skins. Yeah. And works off clearance water. Which is convenient. Thank you, man. Sixty nine months. Oh, I only have one in the workshop, which is part of why this is such an issue. I'm doing all this with just the field kitchen.
Mm. Oh no, a treasure stack. I say oh no because I think I'd much rather have drizzle water here, by the way. Because now I'm going to have to follow the treasures. I did not expect the treasure stag. We finally got some clay, which can go into the pottery here. Or am I going to be able to chase down the treasure stag? Wait, this wasn't a dangerous clay. Convenient. How long do I have? Four minutes. Uh, that's an awkward amount of time. We're going for it. Take their break. Opening up during the storm, that's almost certainly a dangerous glade. <gasps> a forbidden glade. Let's help that. Yeah, the problem is. Or it could be nothing. Oh wait, there's a blood flower. Which is uh, annoying, but... Oh, a granary. Capturing, learn your reputation and fame, but the forest will remember. Moderate increase to your rep. I don't think I can afford it. Plus one to global resolve and 0.5 rep. Fine. Not bad. Oh, this is a pretty nice one, too. Traders here in town. Uh, I'm rich. So, food, hostility reduction, traders. Take the building materials. Take some bricks, which I've been struggling with. I can make plenty of fabric. That doesn't go for much, does it? Coal's actually pretty good as a trade good. Do you still DJ? Um, emotionally, yes. Physically, no. Ever since the great DMCA wars of, you know, gestures. About five years. I could use, um, foil for water skins as well. Technically, I could make planks, but we're gonna prioritize flour and then water skins. What are we at? We're at... We still haven't got any bonuses on meat. It does take a while to kick in, which is why I'm sometimes reluctant on those. Plus three. Oh, yeah, we definitely want to drop some of the woodcutters here. Otherwise fine, though. And that granary could be very helpful. Oh yeah, the blood flower, I forgot. Raw food items disappearing. It does suck. But... I have enough food. And with the bakery coming online... We're working it. We're still doing pickled goods over here. Also going to do pottery. You know what? I'm going to put pottery up higher. Stonecutter camp. This is the hard space shipwrecker soundtrack. I like the Against the Storm soundtrack, but it's a, a little bit too appropriately depressing for me sometimes.
I will say. It is, um, ominous, even, occasionally. I am going to automate this one. We're going to go for a third hearth, but way out here. Exciting. I have the fuel. We're going to crank the ranch to maximum velocity. And can't I make pipes? Do I need more plant fiber? Eh, could use it. Though not in an ideal location. I know they're idle. I'm not dealing with that right now. Yeah. Crowded houses. Oh, I don't even have any at level 2. 10% higher yields, but consuming twice as much food. You know... That's probably it. <laughs> I'm about to have plenty of food, ideally. Somehow I didn't get any pipes or anything with it. We're gonna bring as many villies as possible, fill it all in here. Um, I don't have that at all. Any lucrative trade routes? Yeah, only two minutes, and it gives six. This one, wow, 18. Pretty good. We need to trade out the beavers. Why are we chopping now? Just for wood at this point. Wait, how much do we have? I think we're okay for the most part on the wood. down to two beavers or um two builders there's the skewers we can oh yeah i forgot about service buildings i've been doing so well with them <laughs> rebuild there Honestly, I'll pull the clan hall together. Okay, now I'm deleting this. Definitely not using it. It's the aesthetics I always forget. I do it. You can't hotkey these. I would love to hotkey them, so that way I wouldn't forget if it's on a hotkey. But you can't hotkey parks and gardens, unfortunately. We're at plus one meat spec. Still working on pickled goods here. Oh wait, we got this done, finally. Not that it matters much. Get the cookhouse. I think I'll just build it over here. Close enough. Pretty sure all the vegetables are getting eaten up by the uh, meat factory over there. This is what's happening. Mm -hmm. Oh, what are we doing? 
so I'm gonna have to adjust that. Does anyone get a bonus? No. We're gonna drop out of the field kitchen. I still have nothing to break. Oh, I, I found some training gear. Okay. I'm going to shift this from using any vegetables. I was trying to shore it up before, but. Plan mm. hall. Do I have, well, this affects gathering camps, including the vegetables. The key part there. Field kitchen. I'm not going to delete it, but we don't need much of it right now. We're going to prioritize using coal here as well. And wait, what? How did I pick the ones past it? Oh, I forgot. Wait, no, I didn't. Oh, no. Genius. I forgot to... Uh decide on that one. This one, and then I can get fox houses. Somehow we don't have enough lizard houses still. First things first, though. How many we got? 33. That's more than enough. We can move enough in here. One more. Almost done with the park. We're going to... Where are all my lizards? Fifteen lizards, and they're all spoken for. Alright. Now we gotta get it to level two. Which includes more of this. Move the trade post to wherever... We can always move the parks away if needed. <laughs> wow, it was a lot easier once I stopped using them for the rest. <laughs> Got another blueprint. I mean, porridge, but we're in the final stretch here. Yeah. Porridge for the foxes. Like I said, foxes and lizards. The reason why beavers are B tier is because of this. Their reputation threshold to get more resolve is so uh, high. Like, they're probably not going to leave you, but they're not going to be much of a benefit either. Unfortunately, we're just going to have to jam the fox houses, which will look very ugly. But... Thank you, Ninja Mega Man, by the way. Yeah, the beavers have a lot of stuff that requires a significant um, investment, like getting biscuits and pickled goods, and then their needs are ale, which is another like relatively complex process that is specific and not many buildings have. Mm, 
wood cutting is easier either way. More wood cutting. No, we're gonna take resolve here. And I don't need woodcutters to move faster. I have plenty. Um berries and reeds can be used here. I have eggs. Herbs are useful. Oh yeah, and some pipes. Take the pipes. There you go. And I don't know, throw some water skins in. I'm gonna take them all. Throw another ancient tablet. There you go. That should keep us going for a while. I guess we're gonna get more workers just to close this out here. Of which variety? Three lizards and uh, two more foxes. So, the sheer amount of villagers you have with resolve is what increases your rep. Like, not every fox is enjoying tasty, tasty pickled goods here. But, the more foxes, like, the higher percentage. Especially with, like, the houses and stuff. Yeah. Do I need any more? I don't need any of this. We got level two encampment, right? No neighborhood? Oh, we need to build. We're trying to build. Make me more planks. I crank this. I'm gonna throw a fox into that. We're gonna make sure all the lizards are in their favorite places, which are the warm ones. Okay, are you telling me I need to crank harder? Alright, I can crank harder. I have enough drizzle water, we can triple crank everything. And then I can... Um, now, I can also go for uh, the resolve bonus if I need it. We only have one builder? What the? Alright, let's sacrifice some oil here. Hmm. New blueprint. Whatever. I already have one of those things. What would I even re-roll into? Something for wine, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Whatever. We're not gonna be building it, so... More pipes. I just realized I still had a rain collector here. We're just relying on that fox resolve. Where are the lizards? Not loving it. I have the food. All right, we're just going for resolve. Oh, we got two done. Yeah, yeah. Box resolve will do it. As is usually the case. Mm -hmm. So That's why foxes are S tier Help you finish events faster And Easy to please Don't need any flour Forage is one of the easiest things in the game And Year 5 Not bad Ran out of jerky, yeah. Cursed lands, thick clouds. Mm. 
Okay, how many do I already have? Hey, no, how many do you need? 35. Oh, we're gonna have enough. So I shouldn't need- you get more materials at the end of the cycle. If you have more seal fragments, but it's not so much that, like, I think it's a huge deal. Okay. I could speed- this doesn't give extra- I think I'm gonna go for the embarkation range. Oh, do I need the materials, is the question. Let's see if we're leveling up here. I've stopped getting XP points for deeds. Oh wait! Literally as I say it, one of them apparently was XP worthy. Some of them are just to get like other aesthetic designs and stuff. They have, they're just achievements in game. Newcomers bring more plantation stuff. Small haulers and warehouses. We have more embarkation goods. Pack provision ton stuff. Every worker gets permanent carrying capacity increase. Which I'm not convinced that's amazing because it just... Hmm. You gain an embarkation bonus. So it, it isn't part of your base goods. Important to note. Newcomers arrive. I'm just gonna take that. Get all the way there with more embarkation. Start off strong and keep it running. All right, we're taking the range, by the way. So maybe I can do Whatever this is. Oh, I didn't have. Win a game after opening more than... So, this would help me during the seal. And it's a little challenge in and of itself. Alright, let's give it a shot. Let's see. Who's the most self-sufficient? Well, we can open small glades. They're just a lot less efficient. <sighs> it's gonna be beavers and fox start again. And this is the nader taunts. Pick a number between 1 and 26. Uh, yeah. So now, we are quite far. Yeah, the distance from the Citadel reduces the embarkation points and increases the cost of many of them. Though I'm not entirely sure why the changes up here are different. Like, I get why there's less embarkation points. Alright, somebody can choose for him if he's not here. We get extra bricks. Do I just bring the farm? Nah. Fabric and planks. Just full-on building materials. I really like starting. It makes it a lot easier here. I think on higher difficulties, I go for... I definitely switch to more food-related things. 14 was the pick. Okay, what do we got? One, two, three. Okay. Nader thought neck of the woods. Neck of the wood. It's Neck of the Woods is the... Nader T. Neck of the Woods. And then that's the character limit. Off we go. So, I can open up more than one glit. It's just I'll fail the uh, side quest kind of thing. 
Increase the rep gain from Resolve and Drizzle. Oh, that's quite nice. Um, Resolve drops faster. The Blood Flower one is the only dangerous one. Hmm, Harpies are the third species. All right, first Drizzle Gazer, nice. And then now we'll get Mist Weavers or something. It's, it's small farm or foragers camp. I think we gotta go with small farm. Like, you can't just not. <laughs> uh, this is almost a rerun. Well, I, you're not, I'm not rerun any of the early ones. Probably the provisioner. Not in love with it, but like, might end up being able to just trade. So. Smithy, maybe bathhouse, possibly. The benefit of the bathhouse is it works for harpies and wait for the cornerstone. You. Yes, top five of the the Queen's most loyalist servants. Oh yeah, Harpy in the hearth to increase carrying capacity of everyone. I think by far the best bonus if you're not desperate for something else. Pretty solid, like, gr good, not great ones. Crowded Caravan, always good. Newcomers arriving quicker is always good. Titan Belt can be amazing. Wait, travel cost. Travel cost is just pack provisions. I take it back. That's not going to be good enough. Hmm. I'm going with Secure Trail over Crowded Caravan because that means I get more goods. This is just more villies. No reason to lock that in yet, either. Mm. Gonna pull a couple of the harpies to help build now. Banking as much wood as I can while woodcutters don't hurt me much. Which is the first year. Past that, hostility starts growing and woodcutters start cutting into it. And usually you have enough stuff to set up that you don't necessarily want to be just chopping wood. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be reeds as well.
What do we want to do with the workstation? Oh, that's a trap. Um, forage. Obviously, we'd like to make, but I don't have anything for it yet. Do we have anything for pickled goods? No. Okay. Can we survive one? Yeah. I have no materials for this, so. Oh yeah, newcomers. You know what? First. Joyful foxes. I think I can make that happen with a rain collector. Definitely. That's sick. I suck. Joyful harpies. Well, I'm not as excited about that one. But we'll try to make it work. And harpy resolved. So we're going to make it. A druid tut, then. Yes? Yes. That'll help with that joyful harpies and oil and all that. Okay. Gonna pull one of the beavers here. Put this at the bag. Working through. Working on building more. Who's been working in the warehouse? They haul stuff. Yeah. Which essentially means they'll start putting resources in buildings and taking them out without the ones who are currently working. So it reduces the amount of walking time for the most part. It's relatively new, and I'm not sure whether it's more... Well, if there's literally nothing else to do, I think it's good. But I'm not sure if it's more worth it than just having, like, more production. Oh, yeah. I think we wait. Wait, do You know what? Having more is going to make it more difficult, but... I can get enough houses for the harpies here, so they should stop whining for a bit. Newcomers will arrive quicker and bring more goods for every level of standing you have on trade routes. Market shift plan. Lost supplies is not going to be it. This is a reroll, I think. Calming the force can be good, but I, I never find empathy events. The housing one could be okay. I don't love it. Alright, I'm using another one. That's all we got. Hauling cart back to nature. Uh, I'm doing rich glades. And we're opening up that next glade. Uh, we're gonna drop the woodcutters. We're going to check here. I need one woodcutter. Unfortunately, which means I'm gonna... You know what? Just open up the glade and see what we need first. And then we'll worry about the rest. I think I can favor the foxes to just get there. Stormwater geyser. Oh, this is fine. Heal. That would have been an empathy event. Whatever. And there's a farm there. Working on those harpy houses. Anything here for me? It's the plus eight to buildings, but... Or plus five to buildings, are there? Hi. Move this and I. Wait, did you have enough for? 
I'm not spending... What do we got in there? A lot of goodies, but I should be able to knock that out later. Either way, eventually there'll be a trader with training gear. So. And now, congratulations, harpies. Oh, wait. That was supposed to be foxes. We'll just take the workshop. That's a hard one. The forum's right there, but we're gonna take the workshop. I'm not gonna have access to that many materials, so... Should be able to favor the harpies soon enough. otherwise they're just kind of whiny. I guess we are getting some jerky, so... What do you want? Encampment level twos. I'm not giving you my material. This is a danger. Timed orders. Okay, let's take a look. Who's the next trader? He won't necessarily have... How many was it? Is it six or eight? Eight. But five a minute. All right, fine. I'm gonna delete this building to get the fabric back. This building, we're gonna delete this because it's made entirely obsolete by the uh, workshop. It is just, the workshop is just the better version. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's harpies or die trying. That's what we're doing. Mm-hmm. God, terrible. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. And... Working on that. So we can get more material. <sighs> we have five builders. No, wait. We need to be in the workshop. That should solve my, uh... Mm -hmm. Do all traders have the same inventories? They have... They don't always have the exact same thing, but different traders buy and sell different stuff. Like, the beaver has building stuff and will buy wood. Whereas the lizard has, like, fighting gear and stuff like that. And meats. Various meats. I don't know if the order of the... Tra well, you always get, like... One of the basic traders, not one of the fancier ones you unlock to start. Like, like, the Human, the Beaver, or the Lizard, I think, to start. I'm gonna call him. Oh, wait. He never answers it. Wait, I shouldn't need to call him if I do it well enough. Because I should be able to get enough fabric for the houses. But we'll see. We're about to have the Harpy resolve here, too. We're gonna have so many, so much passive income, all right? Passive income is where it's at. Like and subscribe. Let's see. Herbalist camp would be great. I know there's a geyser in here as well. Wait, right? This was a different geyser. Either way. I mean, the ranch. I'm only allowed to open up one dangerous glade. So... I mean, that's not a dangerous glade there, but... Hmm... 
You know what? Not yet. Not yet. Probably going to be the ranch, as always, but what in the hell? Okay. It's ranch. Even without the lizard. And, uh... Yeah, the beanery. close can we get? That'll have to do. Hmm. That's fine. Why are you guys such a pain? Well, we're going to have insects all the time now, but everyone's favorite midnight snack. some more space. I hate this. We have plenty of wood. Okay. We still won't be able to get jerky off it. But meat off of, uh... reeds and grain. Harvester's camp has no more purpose in life. I thought there was a drizzle geyser in there, but maybe I'm just dumb. I refuse to consider such a possibility. Course delivery of the last ones. And we're gonna get there. Do I wanna automate? I think I will. Even though I have plenty of work. <laughs> Oh no, not more newcomers. Those newcomers have uh, scaled pretty quick. We're gonna be moving the harpy houses over there. Oh, that's pretty dicey. We're okay. I'm not gonna be able to turn in that or- well. If I turn in that order, it's going to lower impatient. Well, will it though? Oh, the drizzle geyser was over here. Yeah. Herbalist camp. Or we'll take it. Look at the look at the girth of that berry bush. All right. Mm. Meats, and then eggs, and then leather. Off of the grain, wait. We're gonna have berries. 
We're just going to do grain here. Mm, pack of provisions. Ah! Might as well have haulers, I guess. Trying to pull it together. Oh, building materials. Can't move it yet here. What do you guys got? Hmm. About to have the beanery. Maybe egg. You know, eggs actually shot up in value. I'm gonna prioritize eggs over meat here. Then jerky for every pie produced. I don't have any way to make pie. And also, I probably wouldn't want to anyways. Trade logs. Just give me the foxes. I'm sick of harpies. Do I not have any stone? Oh my god. Also, I didn't enable the... Oh my... That would explain some of it. We're gonna crank the workshop. Hey, no. Put the foxes in the farms. Beavers, continue wood cutting. Keep forgetting about these. It's fine, it's fine. Mm. I wouldn't mind another menu just for the large aesthetic things. At this point. <sighs> Give me your bricks. Oh, he has his bricks. Some pottery. Am I really gonna have to... Wait, what has he got down here? Rain mill and smelter. No, just base materials. Okay. Does. How many rocks do I need? How many I put in here? 24. So now that I have 35, we can disable that. I can cancel this. can drag these out. I need 40 to open, so that means I only need... I'm just gonna get 20, just to be sure. Villagers move faster on, on roads. Two for houses. We're not there. Also, I can make crystal dew in the, um... Thingy. The beanery. Oh yeah, I forgot I wanted to do this immediately. Oh. It's only year three. It's a good start, just stressful. Do traders buy crystal dew? Usually they will. That and copper, but like, I don't think it's particularly efficient to sell it. doesn't like coal sea marrow are pretty good 
um, as they go. Uh, you can actually resin, which you usually just get as a secondary resource, is pretty good as well. A lot of the crafted materials are actually cheaper than the base materials, like foods. Like, it's like 0.33 for skewers and 0.37 for a single mushroom. So. The raw materials are more valuable. Trade goods or a market? I don't have... This is... Trade goods I can do. Wait. I don't know if I have anything for trade goods. But generally... <sighs> Rewards are better, but by the time we... Okay, we're back to quantity of... Uh, trade routes over anything else. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, pipes are the one. <laughs> oh wait, I can do four roots now? Cool. Drop some of these. Oh, we got two encampments now. Pick those. Those are builders carry more, yeah. Not a huge deal, but doesn't hurt. These are all like... It's not gonna be the distillery. It might be the alchemist hut, I think. Yeah. We got all those berries. Now what we're missing is containers, I think. I get this drizzle geyser set. We're gonna need to make pipes. There's some parts in there. I could just... I can't actually break it open. Oh, sea marrow. Very valuable. Mm -hmm. Just gonna keep working on this area. More trade. Wait, are we out of packs of provisions? No, we got them. It's just, there's nothing left to trade. Mm -hmm. How are there still? Alchemist hut. Let's see, crystal dew. We're about to get some more stone, as well. Enable all of them. Because, uh, stone is... a 40% chance. The large sea marrow is better, but... Obviously. Newcomers. We gotta finish off these houses. I'm one house short. Okay, I'm gonna throw that in there. Might as well jam the beaver houses back there. That should be enough of them. 
which means we're definitely not going to be going for the rest. Real quick trade routes here. Literally as fast as possible. Wait, I have one more. There you go. Mm -hmm. We can put so I can put the beavers in there and then sprinkle storm water all over their faces, and they like that. And that's how you solve that. Free drizzle water. Should be able to make some of that. Let's see. Pigment, ideally. I mean, we we'll use herbs. Tea, and then what well, we're gonna need the crystal do is the main point. <laughs> you know, eventually we'll have the stone for it. Let's just get it done here before I lose too much time thinking about it. Oh my god, I'm just missing a park, that's why. I actually think the, uh, the hauling cart is top-notch. Automating haulers. Especially since it goes to every warehouse. It was very helpful in the one run I got it. So... Mm. Alright, we can bring the newcomers in. We're gonna decrank this a bit. We now can. Where are we piping? The ranch or the beanery? How many pipes do I have? Oh, I have enough for both. Por que no los dos? We're gonna need one over here. We're gonna add the pickled goods recipe here. Still don't have building materials. Jousecraft is chilling for seven Thank months. Thank you, Jousecraft. I'm gonna go up to 24 fabrics. I don't have to do 24, not 122 planks. That's a bit much. Thank you, Jousecraft. I just don't want to do it. Oh, Alright. Scribe. Plus three to planks. You know what? I'm taking it. Resolve for housing. Honestly, there's nothing else here yet. I don't have any... Oh, I forgot about the archaeologist every time. Well. No, we need the service building now. That'll do. The smelter would also be good, but we need that service building. I didn't rebuild the druid's hut. 
So now I'll buy the T. And what else? Training gear? Yeah. So we can just get that boost immediately. I'm not going to be using the tools for anything, so... That fits, right? That that's in the zone. I'm not gonna risk it. Doesn't matter. Also it'll look cooler this way. And then I'm gonna put my fox houses connected. Wait, can I do it like that angle? Okay, no that. Close enough. Hmm. Do I have crystal dew now? Probably using it for pickled goods or uh, tea in this case. Get me up to 24 and then we don't have to deal with it anymore. How many ancient tales? I have zero. Where's the archaeological discovery? Mm hmm. Of course it is. What do we got here? A hundred. We already did a hundred porridge. <laughs> All right. Uh. I don't want to make crystal dew with a worse recipe because I don't have much stone to go around. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Chance to produce double yields. Oh yeah, the uh, druid type. Yes, yes. Plus three to blanks. Yes. Pretty good. But I mean, like, how many planks does one person need? A lot is the answer, but not, like, not so many that it's a game breaker. Maybe I should just be cranking for uh, resolve at this point. I mean, why not? Oh my god. So, I didn't even know it. It looks like it's supposed to be connected. <laughs> Some empty fields. Yeah, but I don't need any more. Um, agromacultures. We have enough grain. We're not even using the grain by the time the next harvest season comes around, so. soon? One minute. And of course the beaver's just chilling. Nothing makes them happy. Also nothing easily makes them upset, so like it's a it's a balance. I forgot about the provision. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It would have been helpful. I will stay. The aesthetics are still kind of tedious. Because I need to have... 16, like, parks. 8 gardens. 4 of the harmony thing, which don't have a 4x4. Four four. That's trade goods. I think we're going for that. For the trade goods, specifically. Mm 
Yeah, the makeshift post is now obsolete. In favor of the provisioner. Um, we can make flour, which goes into trade goods. Potentially. Let's see. Yeah. Well, top priority would be barrels if I could get there, but... Maybe these orders? 70 amber. Plus 5 to all these goodies, but... I think we can do this, because we're about to do 25 packs of trade goods anyways. All right, okay, rebuild that makeshift post. Oh my god. Of course. I don't even know. I delete that. We're not using it. Make my brain hurt. Plus five pie and jerky, which would be great if I had any pie and jerky. How many eggs do we have? Twenty. Put them in the provisioner. Druid's hut. Make it the coats. Oh yeah, oil potentially as well. <laughs> Stonecutter's camp is out of deposits. All right, moving on. Guess haulers. Also allow the planks, obviously. But... We're out of rocks. Oh no! We're desperate. Well, we need. We got enough crystal do there. You know, the tavern might be able to push me over the top during the storm. Ah, uh, it's not going to be done during the storm. There's no way. The storm's only two minutes. flower all going is it going to the field kitchen where is that field kitchen was I not me oh, I didn't build any flower yet I guess I'm I so close to your four but it's not gonna be there your four would be near record I've only had once or twice year four Resolve crank. More resolve cranking. Stone, that's gonna give me a, a bump here. Maybe the porridge production. Mm. That's not gonna bring the harpies or anything under the result, so. Ah, yes. 30 pecks trade goods, please. 
Ain't got no crystal dew though. Let's see what the trader has. Hi. Clay. Some bricks. Plus two to flower. None of that matters. We got all the foods. Just the containers. Pack of provisions. How did I get 21 parts? I don't know. But here we are. Mm, move out of the warehouse into the tavern for the resolve bump. Trade out sea marrow as the fuel. Bees are half. Pretty big milestone. New citadel upgrades. A new trader. Advanced ring collector. Cornerstone. The crown doesn't need to know everything. There's no impatience when your villagers leave or die. But impatience will grow faster starting from Drizzle Year 9. That's an interesting one. Overexploitation. Newly discovered resource nodes have more charges. Plus 15 and plus 40, but you'll gain plus 30 hostility. Receive 10 amber for every 5 completed trade routes. Deep pockets. Queen's Gift. Mysterious amber orb with a magical flame trapped within it increases the ancient hearth's resistance by 250 for every two woodcutters. Interesting. And now I have those extra goods to go for the seal potentially. So do I just get bonus if I go here? I guess so. 117 as opposed to 91. I could go over here, but I think we're gonna try to knock it out in two. All right, exclamation point Viceroy for the chance to preside. I think harpies and human, what is this gonna be? It's gonna be Royal Woodlands. Can we avoid the beavers for one here? I'm bringing, I'm bringing the farm. Okay. Bringing a bunch of extra food here. I'm also going to bring... Wait, you get 20 stone with it? I'm gonna bring another 36 stone, so that way I can potentially break open some caches or build more bricks. Is the plan with that. All right. Silver Drake. It can number between 1 and 26. And uh, if he does for about 30 seconds, well, by the time we fill these in, then we'll, we'll open it up to the class. Five. Well, uh, not yet. Uh, don't pick it yet. Soon. Uh, to pretend like you're deciding on something. Mysterious goo. <laughs> Thank you for the sub. Uh, LC. We're filling in. It's been a little bit since we filled in the tree, but... Ma uh, Joust Craft. And fluffy harmless kitten. Thank you for the raid. Yeah. And character limit. And then those over five years. 
We got... Running out of space. Ninja Mega Man. Seven. And Maverick X-29. Bob doesn't like you encroaching on his space. Thank you. All right, five is tracked. Silver. But I'm taking the one next to it because it's cooler. Turf. Pure turf. What do we got here? Dead villagers turned into stone, so it's just a bonus. Apparently it also gives me more citadel resources, so I'm not going to complain. Speaking of citadel resources... I forgot to actually look at that. One thirty ninety-seven. I have so many uh, of the extra stuff, extra parts, plus on the carry capacity. Paralyzed by choice here. Harpy starting ability. Embarkation goods. Why have I been going this way? Oh yeah, for more embarkation points. I was gonna do that, and then I would be able to crush it even harder in the next cycle. So you know what? I'll just hold off. We're gonna use that for the seal. To just have a really easy seal run. <laughs> Alright, Silver Drake's turf. Oh, it's already locked in there. More villies, farm, and rocks in order to get those bricks. Off we go. What do we got? Plus one resolve for every 30 units of water used in rain engines. I'm not sure if that stacks over time or if it's specific, but discovering a glade reduces resolve by a bunch. One unit of random water every two units. And don't get hungry. Beavers. Ah! Can't escape them. <sighs> what a time to get the kiln. I'm probably still going to go for it, but... Let's take the kiln. I'm not- I'm not picking up a camp as the first blueprint. Hmm. It's gonna be bakery. I'm just gonna look back and forth at it a lot. Hmm, a granary? No, it's bakery. And we'll wait, but probably supplier. Mm hmm. Which one are we gonna open up first? It's likely this one, but we'll just get to work here, clear out some space. The most annoying, like, intimate setup here of the hearth and the warehouse, just staring each other down. A lot of drama there. All right. in the heart. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
only one builder for now, but let's take a look. Amazing. First two are incredible, but unnecessary because we're on Royaled Woodlands. Route delivery line is clearly it, but silent looting can also be great. Supplier is the one that Harpy's like, right? Yeah. Flower planks and water skins. All right, we're good to go. I should have enough to build it immediately. Indeed. We're going to make sure we're going to just these here. We're going to do six bricks at a time. We shouldn't need more than that. Want to be worth it to open the small blade? Well, I'm going to open it. I'm just not going to open it yet. You know what? I lied. I'm going to open it now, even though we can't do anything. I just want to see what's in there. Wait. Ah, too late. I was going to be like, wait, I should open the orders. But no. We're not going to factor that in too hard. Extra food? We can do that, but not yet. And importantly, there's clay, so we don't have to worry about bricks being a big issue. Honestly, probably should, uh... We're gonna drop two. You know what, we're just gonna drop the entire camp in favor of building. I'm gonna get that done right now. I'm still... These have a chance of copper and roots, yeah. The secondary goods are actually a really big part of the game. Like, getting a smaller but still sizable amount of certain resources. And they're not super obvious. <laughs> uh, especially starting out, but they're a really big part. And especially early on, when you're just trying to get one or two more of something, right? are top and then flour will be grain later on small farm once this is done I can put a warehouse there or just do it like right there is that enough space for the stonecutter camp not really important this is just grain Make me more planks. put one more back on wood. Get as much of that out of the way as possible before... Honestly, I don't need to be building planks right now. Oh, did I pull it a split second too early? Okay, maybe I do, but... We're gonna look at the orders. Nope, Humi's... Harpies. And... Packs of crops are easy enough. 
And that way I can maybe do the farm with just one instead of two. Shouldn't need too many people. We'll see. Hunter gathers. Nope. Protected trade, maybe. Workers' rations. Eh. I guess we'll get protected trade. Not huge right now, but I don't want to reroll yet. I think we're okay. What's the resource missing? I do think it's planks. Gotta prioritize it. Bit of a yikes. Or I can buy them from him here. Give me your blanks. Well, not too many because they're a resource I can... Um, make pretty easily. Otherwise... Building capacity... Farmer's, car farmer's pack is pretty good as well. Anything that allows you to carry more shit. Pretty good. What the fuck? Hello! <laughs> I got a haunted druid's hut, which is like the advanced version. Three star recipe, everything. Monastery and furnace. And a huge amount of farmland. There's also a forsaken crypt. So that's a bit more concerning. Do you have ale? He does. Can I calm the spirits? If I just buy some ale, you calm the spirits with spirits. Pro tip. <laughs> what else? Oh yeah. And and also bribe them. I forgot you had to bribe them. Shit. Here, have an egg. Well, at least I'll get my amber back at the end. They'll they'll give it back to me. For some reason, I don't know why. Wait, no, we're gonna need those for farmers. We're gonna pull the non-beavers here. Move these over. And we'll keep chopping through just to make it easier here, but... Still need those builders. I'm gonna want a warehouse over here. What's in here? Oh, yeah, it's definitely worth yeah. A little late on all that, but it's coming together. So once we get all that done, hmm. we're going to favor the peoples. We also got the kiln, which I don't even have the bricks right now, but... Else is out there. Mm. It's not gonna be carpenters. Brickyard gives pottery, which I already have. 
I'm gonna have bricks from the furnace. I don't need the big foragers camp. All that gives is fabric. Reroll. Gonna have the monastery, which is religion and leisure. Temple is religion and education. I don't know if this was a better one. The tinker gives tools, potentially. Maybe look at the orders. Probably should have just taken a camp. Happy humans. Fine. And... Encampment. Unfavor. Okay. Pack of crops. Which does indeed include... The, uh, the grain. The labor force is somewhat... Thin, thinly spread at the moment. Hmm. It does do pack of building materials. I don't love either of those. Probably just wait and reroll it one more time. Once they give me my ember back. Also, give me the stone. Wasteful stone roads. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a bakery. Kind of an important... Oh, yeah, there. Get that set. I don't know where I'm getting all these berries from. I'm not sure if they're from the event. They may be from the event. No? From the original event, maybe? Either way. Mm-hmm. Hard to choose. Pottery first. Get the kiln. Oh god. <laughs> Down to one builder. Alright. It's coming together, but a bit a bit troublesome. I do not have nearly enough for the uh hundred flower yet. All I do have is the planks. Get that out of my face. We're gonna have to remake the furnace for bricks. Unfortunately, I don't have any bricks. I really have 
that much wood with only two woodcutters? I keep... Okay, re-roll one more. <laughs> About to get a furnace! But, uh, tool shop. Tool shop is actually really good. Okay, alright. Alright, fine. With the furnace, we will have... I still don't have enough workers. Need more villas? We're gonna get this done. We can start remaking tools. Earth. Uh... Wait, can it fit there where the, uh... Writing post is not. If I delete these, I mean, I can cut those down over there, but. Just barely. Well, that's in range of the other herd. Okay, we need to cut down those trees. <sighs> I got so much lizard stuff and no lizards. What a day. Also, even though I want to... Eventually we'll upgrade. We need all the new covers. Meat spec. Uh, the grain. We're doing the grain. I need more labor. All right, beaver. Furnace. Somebody. Wait. How do I cleanse it? I need. It's gonna be a process. The monastery rebuild. Actually, a pretty great uh, pie place as well. Mm -hmm. Doesn't even matter if it's covering it all right now. I just need to get started. That should barely be enough space. Yes, there you go. Kind of amber. Ah. But the closest I could get is buying clay to build bricks with. Which I guess we're doing. What, a, what does he have? Spiced ale. Tinctury. Tinctury? No, it ain't there. We can just buy ale if I really need it. It does tell me I need fabrics, though. Someone in the kiln, please. We don't need all the beavers. Wood chopping. Somehow I have plenty of wood. Mm -hmm. 
bricks are coming together. Alright. How many roots do I have? We're pulling one here. It's just not enough labor. Why, why are we not done with packs of crops, guys? Did I not say eight? There's six. Done with Harpy's Resolve. Hey, okay, what's going on? It's all coming together. Ah! Scary! Human Resolve. Which adds more hum- I, I, I. No, not a ranch! It's gonna make things more complicated! Though it's probably the pick still. We're going with the stamping mill. Oh my god, I have more. And the and the brewery for the ale. Alright. Okay. Okay, okay. Everybody simmer down. Okay, just chill. I have villies. We do still need wood cutting, just not a lot. How many parts? Plenty. Need so many bricks. I'm moving the stone cutters to this one. It's always more valuable to do the, um... Two-star, if possible. Because they have a lot more secondary resource. I don't need packs of crops anymore. Stop making those. We can do packs of provisions. You asked nicely. Okay, we got... We're hurting on planks. We got more of these. Trade? Deliver scrolls? Well, I mean... Standing level 2 is pretty, uh... Involved. Brewery. I have nothing to make scrolls, but... You know what? We're going for it. I'm gonna give it a shot. Can I open three kit... Kit's training gear, which... Eh. Fever resolve. Also, eh. <laughs> Nobody needs training gear here, though. Mm. Did I not start a garden? Stamping mill. the ranch, which ideally would be using some of this. Meat, we could turn... I, ideally, that's what we'd be using for the, uh, the pies. And then we can use leather for fabric, so that way I don't need the plant fiber for fabric anymore. Ideally. Once again, ideally. So, probably not. Adding coal in there. 
Speaking of pie. in there am I okay we're gonna make 20 bricks the uh I have no builders and well we have three homeless oh no all the woodcutters for the storm Fucking 30 planks. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna up feather to equal with me for now. Pretty sure I have. Um, I'll get there. I'll find the words. Just give it a bit. water skin somewhere mm, oh yeah at the supplier back to nature well let's see how much grain I have this might be the time We're going back to nature. Food is for nerds. Also, we're gonna put vegetables back on the table. Trader will be here in a minute. I never got a rain collector. We need every villi I could put. Six more villies. All right. I know this placement isn't ideal for the farm. Do we have enough resin yet? No. Into the bakery. Onto the ranch. And... And they're gone. Really, they're gone. Station upgrade lumber mill. A little late for that one. Heavy press. Biscuits 38, forage 30 wood. Gotta put the crops up there, the amber. I'm just gonna buy your porridge. For now, while we stabilize. Do you have any cleansing materials? Oh no. We just gotta get the resin from the trees, I guess. Gonna rebuild the monastery. I haven't even touched the brewery.
Harvester's camp has no deposits and won't have any deposits, so we'll just move on. Small foragers camp is out as well. Which means we can consolidate in production facilities. We're working on the leather up here. They got it all done, the planting. <laughs> what don't we have here? We have 30 pottery. How exciting. Need more wood for coal. I can switch my fuel to coal here as well. Do we have enough resin to cleanse this? Which I can't do that until next year. It's gonna be a longer one, isn't it? Don't have a rain collector. Discover one forbidden glade. I'm okay for now. The decorations again. Ah, shit. Preset the ones for the next. Level here. Do we have these things? No, I don't have a brewery yet. That's next up. I guess I have a service building here now. Hostility. I don't have the workers to decrease hostility by that level. Working on it. the resin we'll start that next year Pottery and barrels, pickle goods, similar stuffs. We're gonna lower the limit to 20 here though, so that way we don't go overboard on it. Over here. Well, we're done with that. Alright. Kuman's like brewing. A bit of a road, but uh -huh. put one in the monastery now that we're building this. Ten jerky for every ten pie. Finally, we get to use it. Ugh. This is the first time it's been. A little bit, and quite a bit. All right, five more humies. Oh yeah, let's do this event. 
people aren't going to be hyped about it, but that's too bad for them. Plus two additional humans. Monastery, guild house. Ah. No, I don't want any of it. He doesn't have scrolls, he doesn't have ale. Does he have coats? I'm not dealing with it. There's some scrolls. Skewers are for nobody. Smelter overlaps. Rain mill, eh. Mm. I'm taking the, the lumber mill for trade goods. That's what we're at now. Piping up the ranch. He didn't have materials, right? Just planks. The only thing I can build. We're getting this done. Uh, of course, the Glade event is tanking Resolve, but that was expected. They finished planting all the fields. Mm -hmm. Do I still have grain left over? means we can do inside oh yeah it's a haunted which means everything is maxed out on this doesn't get any better honestly I think coats go with two incense and then oil fills in because everybody needs coats here Probably should have tried to get that, but I didn't have any of the materials for it, so. Or trade routes? No, trade routes are great. But they're not always the best option, but a lot of the time they're amazing. On higher difficulties, when you're on prestige and you can't reliably, um... Like... Get enough for it. But trade routes, there's a, like, I'd say a solid 25% of all the cornerstones and stuff focus on trade routes. So, either directly or at least related. So, they're kind of a big deal. I don't need scrolls. I mean, I could do scrolls as the uh, trade good bit, but we're already building them there. Oh, I got the, the rep on it. Oh, for the order? Oh, who cares about that? What, the queen? Psh. Drop planks there. Oh, 
Honestly, trade routes are... are like, I like the mechanic, but it feels a bit tedious compared... Like, the entire game's a spreadsheet simulator, but it feels a lot more like a spreadsheet simulator than others. Because you're like, all right, which of these is going to give me the best return and my travel time when I look at my standing over here, which will allow me to get a better trade to sell? Okay, all right, all right. They can be super OP at times, though. It's probably still going to be the market either way. Yeah, even if I can't produce. If we get there, I'm not real super confident in that one. I have plenty of jerky from my pie production. As well. Which is nice. Lower hostility there. We can drop these woodcutters and pop some of that. And... Ignore the fact that several of our villies are homeless. But otherwise, good to go. It's going to be luxury good. Find out we'll get there. Bit of a stressful start, but ended up being okay. <laughs> it's, it pops the hostility a bit, but not enough. Tinctury for wine. So we were going to build that market at some point. What do we got? Global resolve. Villagers consume twice as much food. Whatever. We got the food. <laughs> nope. I'm alright. The, uh... Our... Settlement is closed. I apologize. But we will not be taking any newcomers at this time. Please, you can... It, we are experiencing a higher than usual call volume. Just like the last four years. And now we will be with you shortly. Our newcomers. Mm -hmm. Sometime in the next several seasons, potentially. Probably not, though. <laughs> Just to be real here, give me your food so I can make it into food.
Just in time. Yeah, eventually the trades become very lucrative. So, unfortunately, there's not quite enough for the seal. Well, yet. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be starting up a new one. But Silver Drake's Turf holds it down. Uh, the upgrades, I'd probably focus on. Probably not going to commit to it yet. But... Eh. Oh yeah, I wanted... I, I said the embarkation points, and I'm sticking with it. That one's helpful for the seal. Maybe the foragers camp or something at the start, but... That's going to wrap up the Against the Storm. Some solid, very comfortable runs. No problem there. Easy enough. But thank you for watching the Against the Storm as well. We'll probably tackle the seal tomorrow night after Angry Coach. Um, and then moving into actual difficulty seals past that. But thank you on YouTube as well. Like and subscribe. We'll keep doing the Against the Storm on the YouTubes. Um, if enough people are interested. So, thank you.